Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having a great day. Now, before I start talking about my opinions on this season, three things really quickly. First off, before I say any of this, I want you guys to keep in mind the word opinions. These are so. Th currently, the season has not started yet. It starts tomorrow. Um, today is currently Tuesday when I'm recording this. If you see this video, I think I'm going to post it after I leave. I'm going to be leaving on a trip. Um, I'm going to be going skiing in Colorado at Monarch. So if you don't see me on, that's the reason why. Uh, I'm leaving on Thursday. I'll be taking a plane there. So if you see this video, it means that I think my opinions have remained the same in, like, in terms of what I think it is. Because I believe on Wednesday, I should have this guy to, I'm hoping, Emerald. If at all possible, I'll try to get there. You guys, you, you will know by now if I got him to Emerald or not. Uh, so hopefully I did. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's also the reason why I took a break from Arya. I joined another team uh, because I'm not going to be on that much. I didn't want to risk making Arya lose a war um, because I know that would that'd be bad. So just just so you guys know. All right. That's the reason why I'm left Arya, you know, not team Ho uh, Odin's team hopper. All right. Team hopping all, all day long, right? Someone made a joke in my uh, my chat in game, and they're like, yeah, it's like A and A, you know? You know how they can change the types of dragons there, like between light and dark? I have a uh, team, like I switch teams that much. I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyway, anyway. Also, keep in mind, guys, these are my opinions. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about these. But let's talk about really quickly just a brief rundown of these spells and the exact details. So, the Hunter. This is... Abrion, all right? Ibrine, Ibrino, Abrion. I don't know. It's one of those. All right, so you got Chaos. It's a blue ray. It's a blue spell to rage. Dragon will deal 200% damage. That means that it will do twice what it normally does. So let's say, let's think, think about it like this, right? So if you have your base attack, right? Let's say your attack is four. It, it isn't, but let's say it's four, okay? What Talon Frenzy on Avix would do, it would make it so you did um, six. It would add a 50% bonus, all right? 50% bonus, so you do six damage. Now, this will do eight percent, sorry, eight damage, all right? Think about it like that. Basically, it doubles. Um, it is a two rage spell. These do have runes for it, by the way. Havoc runes will not work on it. And then you have a four second cooldown. Not not the worst spell. I kind of prefer Avix's as well because this guy doesn't have runes for it. It doesn't come with it. Uh, if you have Chaos runes, it will work. But if you're like me and didn't get Tengu or you're brand new to the game, you're not going to have those. Um, and I feel like that's going to be necessary for him to do well. Um, then you got Spring's Renewal, active red um, spell, one rage. Applies a mark to a tower when the mark tower is destroyed, gains 20% health and two rage. Four second cooldown. Now, I believe I saw a screenshot of the rune actually decreases this cooldown. I'm hoping by, like, maybe a second, that would be really good. I feel like this will be interesting because since the runes are going to increase that percentage, I think it will be pretty strong. Um, I think it will. I think that's a good spell because you put in one rage and you get two rage out, which is never a bad thing. Then you got flash. Now, this is, like... It's way different than Cloak. Um, I saw a lot of people describing it like Cloak. It really isn't. So it's 100% dodge except for beam-based attack. So it will dodge any super shots from Blue Mage or Red Mage. All right. It will also dodge any... So that actually works on Rage Train. Uh, someone sent me a screen... Uh, sorry, a video of that. Um, but it dodges any projectiles. That includes archers, cannons, trebuchets. All those are all projectile-based attacks, including the fire turret normal attack and that fireball so it will dodge everything except for beam attacks that right there is the kicker because he has no way to dodge dart flax fire well he, he has a resist towards fire flax so let's not count that but dart flax and ice turrets my kill island is going to kill this guy because if you're quick enough you can use chaos while you're still turning but if defenders are there you have to kill that stuff really quickly because once those storm shields come up they're going to have a second or two to actually use repairs, and you're dead. So this guy is going to die pretty quickly if you don't remove those threats. Um, and then you got Fire Flak Resist. So overall, um, I think that it's interesting. 
he's I mean he's the one I'm gonna be going for, right? But okay, here's my opinions on him. I think that he's basically like Avix, except he's a lot different. Basically like something and then a lot different from it. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, I, I think that this guy will be good in certain situations. I don't feel like he's going to be super OP. Just the spell set in general, Flash, in my opinion, just isn't that great of a spell. You don't have a way to reduce damage. You don't have a way to cloak out of damage from Dark Flax and Ice Turds. And we all know how much damage those will do. If you have a kill island and you can't kill one of those two towers, you will die. So, in my opinion, he's going to be he's going to be situational, I think. Is he worth getting though? That that's a real question that I feel like a lot of you guys are going to want to know. Um the answer to. I think that he's worth it for the prizes. It let's say you're a brand new player to this game. Because he's only going to be available for 2 weeks, I have the opinion that he might be worth it now. If you just started this game, what I might suggest doing is waiting for Oksana, the uh, Dragon Rod, because you'll have more time to save up sigils, because this guy will not be half-priced the entire season. It will only be half-priced for the first two weeks. So if you save up your sigils until week three, which is when Oksana comes out, or Oksana, whatever, however you want to say it, you're going to have some sigils saved up on top of the sigils that you'll gain during the two weeks it's half-priced. So you will have double the sigils on week four when it's half price than you will at week two. So if you're a brand new player, I might wait. Uh, don't get this guy, get Oxana or Oxana because not only will you be getting something and maybe getting a little bit farther while it's half priced, but also dragon riders are a lot more efficient for sigils than dragons are. Because dragon riders will always remain efficient and, and usable. These guys will become obsolete within a couple months because we're either going to have a new tier or new dragons sorry new tier of dragons or new tower levels that will completely wipe these guys off the map and then they're useless dragon riders boost no matter what tier or what dragon it is so if they come out with a really op dragon in two seasons from now you can still use this guy uh this dragon rider on that dragon so is he worth it i would say maybe but if you're brand new to the game or you're like you're pretty much you're basically free to play. I would wait for the, um, I would wait for the dragon rider, if I were you. Because unless you are certain you're gonna get past the first page, of the hunter, within two weeks. Which if you're free to play, that is that would be difficult, but it's doable. It's gonna be a lot more efficient for you to go after the dragon rider. But if you're just like me, right? You spend money, um, a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm one of the best free to players, free to play players. Yep, totally. All right, Odin, free to play. That's a meme. It's not, it's not I'm actually not free to play. Surprising, surprising that I got through Emerald um, and I'm not free to play, but I am, believe it or not. It's gonna, it's really hard to say, but I just don't see him being OP. I don't see him being overpowered because you, again, you just don't have a way to dodge that. That is what you have to have for a hunter. They don't have a lot of HP. You have a way to kill stuff really quickly, but he's not going to be able to set up stuff. Rage Drains, now I'm thinking about it, and it just popped up to me. Rage Drains are not going to work against this guy. Because if you automatically, as soon as you turn the corner, place down one of these Spring Renewal things. Alright? Stick with me. You kill all the... If you can't... Like, I can dodge a Rage Drain every single time. Like, it's not an issue for me. I know how to do it. It's quite easy. As long as you practice a little bit for the timing-wise. But let's say you can't do that, right? You're, you know, you just haven't practiced. You can autom you can just immediately hit this, put it on the monument to the left of the rage drain, kill all the mages, let it hit you, hit the monument, get two rage back, use another spring renewal on the, um, what are, what do you call it? Uh, the bounty harbor. That'll cost you one rage. You'll get two rage. So you'll start with three rage. On that little, uh, on the Long Island, which is enough to use chaos and then another spell, which you could actually, you know, you could do chaos, and then if there's not like projectiles, what you could do is you could use a healing mark on the next monument and get rage back. So you would get like, you know, what I'm saying like, there's a way to sustain your rage no matter where you are on the map, which I think is a really, really good aspect of this spell. But again, it's just the thing that's holding me back with this guy is that the fact that you have to have flash. And I just don't see him being usable in wars. I really don't. 
Um, again, we'll have to check about that, you know. But in all honesty, I just don't see this guy being effective in wars. So, yeah. This is specifically about this guy. I'm going to make a separate video. Um, I just realized while I'm talking about this, I might as well make a different video for each of them. That way it's very specific about what you guys want to see. What I've been trying to do recently, as you guys can see, is making it more streamlined so you guys can choose exactly what you want. I got a lot of comments like, you know, script that, script this. I don't do scripts. I'm not going to do scripts. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Um, and I apologize for that, if that annoys you or not, but I'm not going to. It's just not who I am. Um, I personally like just speaking whatever I want to say on the fly, and I think that I'm a little bit more effective like that. That's how I do, I, I also preach a little bit, um, and that's how I do it too. I don't use notes or some, or stuff like that. I, I mean, I plan out, but I don't use, I don't use notes while I'm preaching or anything like that. But I want to make sure that you guys have access to exactly what you want whenever you need it. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Either way, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if I don't see you guys before 